Why is the lake effect machine going to kick on? Well, as the warmth goes away, that cold front has come by and now those chilly temperatures are coming across what is a warm water of Lake Erie. How warm? 51 degrees is the current water temperature there. So when you think about the air temperature and the water temperature, you need the right recipe for lake effect snow. We're not talking about the air temperature right at the surface of the lake. We go up to 5,000 feet. That's where we have the air temperature of 14 degrees. And once you see that temperature difference exceed 23 degrees, one of the main ingredients is that temperature difference. Now for tomorrow, we're going to have a 37 degree temperature difference from the lake to 5,000 feet. You go up to the top of some of these clouds, it's almost zero. So we're going to have that lake boiling up. When the clouds do begin to build, we start watching the wind direction. That's going to be the key that tells us which communities get hit. As that wind comes up the length of the lake, those clouds that begin to develop, those dark gray clouds, you can always see them out there across the skyway. They billow up into the sky and then get pushed by the wind and they get directed into portions of the southern tier. Sometimes the shoreline communities don't get as much. Once you rise up into the hills, it really squeezes that moisture out and that's where you get that inch per hour precipitation. Some spots get hit and others will not and it looks like it's going to be some sections of the southern tier that really take the brunt of this and you're going to notice areas to the north should remain pretty quiet, but you'll see those dark clouds in the distance over the next 48 hours. As